Hello everyone, Manithrol here, and I want to say before we get into anything else, before I get into the main chunk of this, we finally hit 50 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. To me, that is just absolutely amazing. So, thank you guys for it so much, and I'm definitely going to be pushing to do that uh, reward I was talking about, and as you can see, what my plan is is for my main character to do one hour of bossing per day. Now the reason why I say one hour per day it might seem kind of cheap to some of you guys uh, or kind of low but that's because of Vampiric Aura. I'm a big fussy person when it comes to what auras I use for bossing and what I don't use for bossing. So whatever it's going to be is whatever death gives me I'm going to do one hour of it I'm going to try to avoid the higher end bosses and here's the reason why I avoid high end bosses and the reason why I avoid tier 90 stuff plus. Unless it gets blood dyed then I'll you know use it. The uh, reason being is because it's not very cost efficient. And I mean if you are somebody who's going out... <clears throat> okay like for instance I do have you know the malevolent curious and like greaves. I don't think I have the helmet. No, I don't have the helmet. Uh, but the reason being that I don't really go for those gears too much is because when you look at the body, I get 500 armor for this. And you look at this armor, I get 500 armor for that. So while yes, that is a strength build, it is a DPS type melee armor. And this is actually a tanking armor. Um, I understand there's a difference between that and, you know, I'll do more damage and have the same defensive bonuses. But the problem is it degrades to dust. I have a big issue with degrade to dust type stuff. It's not that it's necessarily bad. It's just that I personally will not use it. Because unless I'm going to fight the Rise of the Six... I see no point in having it because unless I get multiples of those and I can have them safe stored away then I just I just can't see the justification in order to use it so you know I have that kind of stuff I just don't use it because of those reasons now eventually when they're all died I will get it you know there's going to be no question about it I will get that and I will go from there. But, the main chunk of this thing is there's a special announcement I wanted to do about the Double XP Weekend. Which is coming up. There is another Double XP Weekend coming up. It's going to start on September 15th at 12 UTC game time. And it'll end until uh, December. Well, did I say it's December? September 15th at 1200 UTC to 18th of September, 12 UTC. Now, I will go over the rules to the double XP weekend. I will also provide a link in the description below for you guys, this way you guys can see what's going on. However, this is the rules for it. It's 72 hours, 72 straight hours of 100% extra XP and 20% extra XP for free to play players so free to play if you do uh, play during this time frame you will get a benefit of this now certain things do stack and certain things don't stack uh, that I will let you guys know for an example and the double XP with lamps and stuff like that works a little bit differently um, but like right here it'll say about the bonus xp you already have stored it does say while it is stored bonus xp itself is not boosted it is still rewarded alongside the boost from double xp weekend so remember training a skill with stored bonus xp on double xp weekend will receive 200 percent base xp so basically what you're doing is you're going to get three times xp you're not getting double XP but you're getting triple XP at least if if that's how I'm reading cor correctly that is what it is 
And that announcement, I have a plan for Double XP Weekend. And this is my plan. I'm going to try to use up all of my Protean stuff. Problem with that is, I have so much Protean that it is insane. So, I'm going to show you guys, right now my main plan is to use the cogs. So one cog gets me 288 XP. And this is gonna be a fun little competition for you guys. Okay, so I have 288 XP. And I have a little over, well I have 12,305,110 bonus XP in invention. And I have Uh, 19,543 protein cogs. Whoever can guess, now I know there's going to be a lot of, you know, if you do the math, that's fine, but if whoever can guess first, keep in mind first, not, you know, down the road, whoever guesses first, and I would like to see it in the comments below. The reason why I say in the comments below this way, if somebody says it in game, well, I'm sorry, but there's no real proof for other people to see that what your guess was, was what, you know, there's no proof to back it up. That, that's why I say I would like to see this in the comments below. And then what you will get is on the very next Double XP Weekend. I actually have something, I've been kind of saving it for some sort of special occasion. And what you'll be getting is a summoning focus. Now I have 583 of these, they are worth about 3k a piece, but it is used to focus your summoning XP gains, boosting X, you know, your summoning XP. So I will actually give the winner of it, you know, whoever guesses it right, all of those summoning focuses. Now I know I could, end up using them but summoning is only 99 right now so I have no desire to make it even further than it already is um, what in the world is that gigantic oh. it looks kind of gigantic like this but okay so yeah that's gonna be a competition if you can figure out how much XP and then whenever it comes time like XP gained not what I currently have and will have but XP gained if you can guess it, and if you can guess correctly, then, well, the closest one to it will win it. But if you guess correctly, that's just the ultimate win right there. So, now back into the double XP weekend and the rules and stipulations for it. Okay, so the restrictions that will be applied, or well, that, yeah, are applied. Okay, so double XP weekend boost is not applied to the XP earned through the following items or activities. Assist system, XP lamps, tomes of experience, ectophontus, cremation, dragon rider amulet, auto sanctifiers, goldsmithing gloves, brawling gloves, player owned house altars, wilderness chaos altars, dungeoneering wild cards, sacred clay, urns, which important to know that. Ancient Effigies it says it also does not apply to XP rewards given on hand and for the following activities. Quests, Daily Challenges, Jade Vine, Strange and Golden Rocks, Other Distractions and Diversions. So like your Penguins, um, Circus, etc, etc. Those will not apply. Up next, it does not apply... XP awarded on hand in of points, tokens, example, Slayer points, uh, Brimhaven Agility Arena, and Dungeoneering tokens. And it says the invention skill be uh, benefits different are, are different compared to others. Item XP gained is at plus 50%. Making items on a workbench, such as charge packs, siphons, etc., gives 50% more XP. Disassembling random items, uh, logs, potions, your, your base kind of stuff, like your gathered materials, um, will give 50% more XP. 
but disassembling siphoning equipment does not give improved XP. And it says Iron Man accounts do not have, uh, do not receive XP boost on double XP weekend. Now I will show you what it means by you know the assembling and siphoning equipment. Uh, for example, right now I have you know an augmented Sea Singers rope top. This would not get it. This will, it, it'll, if I would disassemble this right now, it would not get it. If I would siphon it, it would not get it. So, with this all being said, uh, I did want to give a little bit of update, and I wanted to say thank you guys for that, first off. But, for 50 subscribers, that just blows my mind. Um, but also, we are going to be, I'm going to start being pretty uh, aggressive towards getting the uh, money needed or the bank funds to uh, get that going so I can get the bossing for the VIP uh, membership giveaway hopefully well, there's going to be at least one hopefully more uh, because unless it's going to be something that I need to use like let's say I get a bunch of rock tails you know stuff like that uh, that kind of stuff, you know, I'll keep to help my, you know, keep my bossing going. Uh, potions, of course, I'm running a little low on certain things, so I'm going to have to make more. But that is my, ultimately, my plan. So, thank you guys for subscribing, liking, commenting. I really appreciate that stuff. So, thank you guys so much, and thank you for 50 subscribers. And until next time, later, guys.